Hi everybody! I am so excited to share with you how to make these fantastic dishcloths on a loom. They are my favorite dishcloth to use and I think you might feel the same way after you use one. Mother's Day is coming up and most moms love homemade gifts. I know I do. These dishcloths make the perfect gift at any time of the year. I made several of them last year to give as Christmas gifts and everybody that I gave them to thought they were awesome. I like them because they are double layered and the soap lasts longer on them and it stays sudsy longer because the soap stays between the two layers. I also like them because like the other dishcloths that I make, they have a loose stitch to them and that allows them to dry a whole lot better and it makes them less likely to get stinky. There is nothing worse than a stinky dishcloth. I can't wait to show you how easy these dishcloths are to make. So let's get started. Here is what you're going to need. Scissors, a small scrap yarn piece, a loom. I used a 26 peg long loom. When I came up with this project, I wanted to make something on my long loom because it's so comfortable to hold. But you could actually make these dishcloths on a round loom too. And you can make them different sizes. A loom hook and cotton yarn. You will want to make your dishcloths out of cotton yarn because regular yarn doesn't absorb water as well. And it comes in all kinds of great colors. I use peaches and cream cotton yarn that I got at Walmart. The first thing you want to do is to make sure that your end yarn string is going to be long enough to sew together the edge later. To make measuring easy, this is how I do it. I just hold the end of the string in my fingers like this and I measure to the middle of my throat. If you want to use a measuring tape, measure it to about 31 inches. It doesn't have to be exact. Then make a simple slip knot. Put the slip knot on the side peg. Now wrap the end yarn string around your fingers like this and use your scrap yarn piece to hold it together. This will keep it out of the way while knitting and prevent you from accidentally mistaking the end yarn from the working yarn. Now drop it into the center of the loom. This is the peg that I start with. Go behind the peg and wrap toward the front like this. Go all the way around the loom, e-wrapping each peg. Once all the pegs are wrapped, push the yarn down on the loom and e-wrap each peg again. Once all the pegs have two loops on them, use your loom hook and pull the bottom loop up and over the top loop on each peg until all the pegs have only one loop on them. Push the yarn down and wrap each peg again and you continue these same steps until you make several rows. Drop the slip knot off of the side peg when a few rows are done. Because I am using a long loom, I can sew the edge together after only a few rows. If you are using a round loom, you will have to wait to take the dishcloth off of the loom to sew the edge together. I like to get it out of the way. <laughs> take the scrap yarn piece off and pull the slip knot out. Carefully line the rows on both sides up together. Push the end yarn string through the lined up stitch on both sides to make a loop. Then push the end of the string through the loop like this. Pull the string tight. Let's watch that again. Do this all the way across the edge of the dishcloth. Knot and then cut the end off. This is what it looks like when it is done. Once you have 30 rows done, it is time to cast off or take your dishcloth off of the loom. We will be working with two pegs. Loosely wrap around the top of the right peg. Pull the bottom loop up and over the top loop and peg. Take that loop off of the right peg and put it on the left peg. Pull the bottom loop up and over. Then move that loop over to the right peg. Let's watch that again. You need to do this cast off row as loose as you possibly can or it will come out looking lopsided. <laughs> Practice doing your cast off row before doing a whole dishcloth so that you can get the hang of it. 
When you get to the last loop, take it out of the loom. Cut a long end yarn string so that you can close up this end of the dishcloth too. Put the end of the yarn through the final loop and pull it tight. Once again, line up the rows and sew your edges together all the way across like you did on the other side. This is how I make the final knot to be sure it doesn't come undone. After I finish the last loop knot, I cut my end yarn string shorter. Then I pull the threads apart, unwinding them. Put one end through the last hole and then tie the ends together a couple of times. Then cut it. Yay! Now our dishcloth is done! Aren't they the coolest dishcloths ever? I can't wait to hear how much you like them too! Because I have quite the collection of pictures that everyone has shared with me during my time off, I thought it would be best to feature your pictures over the next couple of videos by splitting them up. I hope you enjoy seeing the beautiful crafts as much as I do! Here are some homemade crafts that were shared by viewers. so much for sharing your crafts with us. Visit our Easy Me World Facebook page where you can post pictures of your latest crafts. And your crafts can get featured in a video too. That way you can encourage and inspire others also. As you can see, I changed a few things around in this video. I was feeling creative and I thought it would be a great way to start back up fresh and new. I hope you enjoyed this video and that it inspires you to make a dishcloth too. I thank you from the bottom of my heart for being a part of Easy Me World and watching. I love you all and I'll see you next time with another craft. Bye! I got a very special package in the mail today and I want to share it with you. It's a coloring book! A magnifying glass definitely helps. Now I get to show you my craft room that I am working on. <sighs> it's like kind of overwhelming. What I need to do is make baskets for the shelves in the new craft room. Here we go. <laughs> What she said, what do she go to more? Then the bell and the pond to a repose. Man, I forgot to push a cord. <laughs> I'm such a dork. <laughs> <laughs>